this is the top of Soy 11 and Sukhumvit, one of the most uh, famous and well-known streets or nightlife restaurants in Bangkok. And things are a lot different from COVID. From anybody who's been down here knows this street on a Friday night, Saturday night, is break light non-stop. And now it's practically empty. But in the old days, this would be a sea of black, uh, red brake lights. At the top of this soy, this used to be all street vendors. Now there's only a couple. For those who haven't been here in a while, there's a 7-Eleven, sort of a flagship here, a hostel episode 11 that's never opened up. Some tailors, and again, for those who've been down here before, they know that there's the motor bike taxis right when you get down there. A well-known sign, the uh, Dosa King sign. And Grand Business Inn has been here for years. They have a little diner type place, coffee shop, 24 hours. A couple of street vendors selling food here. Uh, coming up on the right, if you've been down here again, you know this Uzbekistan Airways sign. SCB that's been here a while, some ATMs. Again, it's pretty empty for Saturday night. Here is Soy Sepet, Top Nung, uh, Soy 11 slash 1. There's a little side street here. Indian Tadka has been closed up for months. And on the left, Zanzibar, this used to be a well-known restaurant here. It's been closed for months. Uh, Barwachi, another Indian restaurant. You can see closed, closed for months, sadly. On the left, this isn't due to COVID, but this used to be Charlie Brown's and Cheap Charlie's. All that was torn down and now there's a lot of these pop-up beer bars and a couple food places. On the right hand side used to be Villa Market, it became a 7-Eleven. Even the 7-Eleven closed down, but where there is turmoil, there's opportunity. Vigenary, Taco Bell, Burger King is closed. A wine connection just opened up here, that's sort of right next to the Ambassador. Shawarma right there. Again, a bunch of small bars here where Cheap Charlie's used to be. And in the distance, you can see the ambassador sign purple. Uh, Climax used to be right there, that's closed. Again, not due to COVID, uh, but that closed a couple of years. Um, all these just opened up in the last year, they're surviving, uh, but you can see deadly empty. But there is opportunity to sit down, relax, get some local Thai food. Wine Connection, a popular chain here, just opened up a couple of months ago. And this is in December. Ambassador looking very, very dark. I heard it's open as a quarantine hotel, but not even sure. Used to be an Obam Pond here, that is closed. And here is another fence, soon to be condo because this was another well-known restaurant, which was torn down. A couple more street vendors here. Again, Ambassador, very, very dark and apparently closed. And again, there's just no one on this road. Saturday, 8 p.m. Okay, we're continuing down. Uh, for those, again, aware, up Coming up, up on the right is the Grand President Hotel. And you might see another familiar sign here, uh, Pizzeria Lemoncello. That has been here for years. Up here on the right, uh, score. And there's a speakeasy upstairs. This opened up a couple years ago, but apparently this appears to be closed at this time as well. German bar, still up and running after a quick renovation.
And again, for old schoolers, Hemingway's is now on Soy 11. A pretty nice recreation of what it used to look like before. Grand President looking pretty dark. I think the Starbucks is even closed. Doesn't look like there's anybody in there. Some more closed businesses here. And uh, Sugar, which is a club. Uh, don't let this one deceive you. They are open and running. But sadly, the Australia bar has been closed for quite some time. Uh, this used to be Grand President. I think it became Mercure. And again, looking very dark. But some more. But here we have Hillary 3 still up and running and trying to get people in the door. For those who know El Gaucho, this is right here. They opened this up a couple years ago. The one on Soy 19 is still open. This one is shut down. Hillary, very quiet, but open. So stop by there. This is a uh, very high-end condo that was put up the other year with a high-end uh, cafe, Rocket. That is dead closed, as you can see. Hopefully they'll be able to open up again. Lovely Christmas tree. An ATM. Another closed building. And coming up soon, another very familiar name from Soy 11. And that's up there on the right, and that's still packing them in. Oscars on the right, but still packing in, but still very, very quiet these days, or relatively quiet compared to what it used to be. And if you know Prime, and this empty space had been many different restaurants and bars over the years, now it's completely empty. So Oscars, Saturday night, not looking good. But that will get more crowded. And another well-known name. The Aloft Hotel and their club is still open. Again, that won't pick up probably until around midnight or so. And for those who have not made their ways down here in a couple years, this is an entirely new complex of restaurants but half of them are already closed there's another whole set of restaurants in the back those have mostly closed but you get some decent restaurants here and here we've got some local food and of course everybody's favorite the banana pancake chocolate cantina is a good restaurant i've been there soho pizza very good pizza very overpriced but definitely hits the spot at 2 a.m. And then coming down to the end of Soy 11, you know where you take that left on the corner. Hillary One just opened. I think this used to be like the mustache bar or something, but they just opened up this new location here. It looks like they're celebrating. They got the Christmas tree up. A newer Holiday Inn. I'm not sure if it's open or closed. This 7-Eleven, still okay. Oh, over here used to be uh, Bed Super Club back in the day. So you turn the corner here. There used to be another very famous bar right here on the right where I'm looking at this very dark space. That used to be Q Bar, which was uh, torn down several years ago. It's now Insanity Nightclub, which looks pretty dead. Lucky 13 Sandwich. You used to have a great hamburger place here called, I think, Fireplace or something like that. Unfortunately, that's gone. Not due to COVID, very quiet. And coming up, Apoteca, which has some good live music. And then at the corner there, you can see that yellow sign. Uh, the Phoenix Hotel, and they have the Nest Bar. To be honest, not sure if that's open anymore. 
and a villa market that moved here from down the street. So again, it's Saturday night and the street is empty. So hopefully you can make it down to Soy 11 when things get better.